Hello, welcome to part 17 of 500 Physiotherapy MCQ series. In description, we have given simple explanation to each and every question and detailed explanation in the Telegram channel. Now let's move to question number 321. Which bone is most commonly affected in the wrist fracture? Option A, lunate. Option B, capitate. Option C, distal radius. Option D, scaphoid. And the answer is... Option D, scaphoid. Now let's move to question number 322. Which of the following does the nerve conduction component of neurodiagnostic study fail to assess or give information about? Option A, autonomic nerve. Option B, integrity of myelin. Option C, motor nerve. Option D, sensory nerve. And the answer is... Option A, autonomic nerve. Now let's move to question number 323. A basketball player after or a supracondylar fracture of femur, intramedullary nailing, after how long can he play basketball? Option A, 3 months. Option B, 6 months. Option C, 9 months. Option D, 1 year. And the answer is... Option C, 9 months. Now let's move to question number 324. The weight of the upper limb is transmitted to axial skeleton by Option A, corococlavicular ligament, Option B, corocoacromial ligament, Option C, costoclavicular ligament, Option D, corocofumeral ligament, and the answer is Option A, corococlavicular ligament. Now let's move to question number 325. Angiotensin can directly cause the release of dash from the adrenal cortex. Option A, renin. Option B, aldosterone. Option C, calcitonin. Option D, thyroxine. And the answer is... Option B, aldosterone. Now let's move to question number 326. Which joint is most commonly dislocated among the pediatric patients? Option D, shoulder. Option B, hip. Option C, elbow. Option D, proximal IP joint or interferential joint. And the answer is... Option C, elbow. Now let's move to question number 327. To what is the skin does the term nociceptor refers to? Option A, sensors that detect the movement of the hair follicles. Option B, any laminated sensory capsule. Option C, the sensory receptor that is associated with the Merkel cells of epidermis. Option D, free nerve ending with large receptive field that detect the pain. And the answer is... Option D, free nerve endings with large receptive field that detect the pain. Now let's move to question number 328. Clinodicelia is Option A, a bent finger. Option B, a digit bent sideways. Option C, complex dolidexial. Option D, multiple digits syndestial. And the answer is... Option B, a digit bent sideways. Now let's move to question number 329. Which ligament is most commonly injured in lateral angle sprain? Option A. Calcaneofibular ligament. Option B. Anterior talofibular ligament. Option C. Tibionavicular ligament. Option D. Posterior talofibular ligament. And the answer is... Option B. Anterior talofibular ligament. Now let's move to question number 330. How does the lymph temperature cooling affect the electroic diagnostic findings? Option A. No change in conduction velocity, decreased amplitude. Option B. No change in conduction velocity, no change in amplitude. Option C. Decreased conduction velocity, increased amplitude. Option D. Increased conduction velocity, decreased amplitude. And the answer is... Option C. Decreased conduction velocity, increased amplitude. Now let's move to question number 331. The skin begins the production of vitamin D in which of the following situation when Option A. Exposed to ultraviolet radiation Option B. Signaled by the hormone PTH Option C. Calcium is present Option D. It adds a hydroxyl group to the cholesterol molecule And the answer is Option A. Exposed to ultraviolet radiation 
Now let's move to question number 332. Patient had a surgery after a complete rupture of supraspinatus. Two days post surgery, what will you instruct the patient? Option A, start resistant exercise. Option B, start using shoulder as much as possible to avoid adhesive capsulitis. Option C, simple pendular exercise. Option D, active movements. And the answer is Option C, simple pendular exercises. Now let's move to question number 333. Patient had ACL reconstruction 4 days back. Problem is 20 degree extension lag. plus cord subs atrophy what treatment to use option a cryotherapy and resistor terminal knee extension option b cryotherapy and high voltage galvanic current option c thermal active knee extension and moist heat pack and answer is option b cryotherapy and high voltage galvanic current now let's go to question number 334 The superficial extension foot and the artery is a branch of option A femoral artery option B external iliac artery option C internal iliac artery option D aorta and the answer is option A femoral artery Now let's move to question number 335 The QRS complex in a standard ECG represent Option A depolarization of auricle option B depolarization of ventricle option C repolarization of ventricle option D repolarization of auricle and answer is option B depolarization of ventricle Now let's move to question number 336 Second impact syndrome occurs when a patient Option A sustain a physical injury at the same time as the contusion option B sustain a brain injury after previous contusion symptoms that result option D sustain a second contusion and previous contusion symptoms have result option D sustain a medical condition after a contusion and the answer is option B sustain a brain injury before previous contusion symptoms have result Now let's move to question number 337. A person with left hip pain is found to have limp length shortening on the affected side. Option A, footwear compensation and should be provided on the affected side. Option B, footwear compensation should be provided on the affected side with 1 inch deficit. Option C, footwear compensation should be provided on the affected side with half inch deficit. Option D, no footwear compensation should be provided. And the answer is Option C footwear compensation should be provided on the affected side with half inch deficit. Now let's move to question number 338. Which one of the following statement regarding the dorsal scapular nerve nerve to the rhomboid is correct? Option A it is a branch of C6 from the cervical plexus. Option B it passes through scalenus medius option C it usually gives a branch to serratus anterior option D it does not supply levator scapula and the answer is option B it passes through scalenus medius Now let's move to question number 339 the following is true about frontal lobe Option A control gait option B it is a center of intelligence option C it is center of memory option D is one of the centers for sensation of smell and the answer is option B is the center of intelligence Now let's move to question number 340 which of the following is present in all type of cutaneous sensory receptors Option A adaptation option B encapsulated tendings option C specificity option D encoding of multiple cutaneous sensation and the answer is option C specificity So that's all for today if you have any doubt please comment in the comment box i think you have learned something valuable today see you in the next part that's part 18 see you then bye bye thank you